Currently, Alabama is trending towards naming Nick Sheridan to be the next offensive coordinator in Tuscaloosa. This would, of course, be an internal promotion for Kalen DeBoer. To make sense of it from Bama Online, the best in the business, Travis Ryer. Travis, what do you make of this move if and when this does become the way that Kalen DeBoer goes with his next offensive coordinator? I think continuity is a word that comes to mind. Obviously, Kalen has an in-depth experience with Nick Sheridan, having worked with him previously at some other stops before taking over as the head coach at Alabama. So a sensible promotion in some ways. And there's some delicacy involved here because you also have an offensive staff member in Jamarcus Shepard, who is considered to be one of the very best in a college football in his perspective role. So you're trying to sustain the offensive staff you have left following the departures of Ryan Grubb and Scott Huff. But with Sheridan, he has experience not only as a coordinator, but also with the quarterback position because you were looking for kind of a twofer here, weren't you? You were looking for a coordinator play caller. You were looking for a quarterbacks coach. And so with Sheridan and his background, sensible continuity, pick the adjective. I think it makes sense. Now, how much of a hand do you expect Kalen DeBoer to have in the offensive, maybe not play calling duties, but just offense as a whole? Because it felt like to me that was kind of the calling card that has made him so successful, uh, both as a coordinator and now as a head coach from his time at Washington, now at Alabama. Do you think it'll be Kalen DeBoer influenced offense or how much of a hand do we expect to see in Tuscaloosa from him? Uh, It's Kalen DeBoer's offense. It's kind of like Andy Reid in Kansas City, right? The coordinators kind of come and go. But at the end of the day, it is very much Andy Reid's offense. I expect that to be the case with Kalen DeBoer. Obviously, a coordinator at different stops, different places, typically going to try to put their own imprint on the approach and the attack. But I think that experience that Sheridan has with DeBoer, again, almost assures that what you've seen from DeBoer coached offenses at Washington Uh, at Fresno State, at Indiana, and beyond is what you're going to continue to see implemented now in his first year at Alabama. Now, Travis, I was the guy over here off to the side saying I would love to see Kalen DeBoer call his own number and make himself the offensive coordinator just with how great he's been as a play caller in his past. This, though, sounds like maybe he is hinting towards wanting to be more of a CEO, or what does this move tell you in regards to Kalen DeBoer and what he wants to do as a head coach in Tuscaloosa? I kind of go both ways on that one. I think that in having that standalone designated play caller, offensive coordinator, it should free him up to be more of that overseer of all things in the football program. But at the same time, even with Ryan Grubb, I got the sense that Kalen DeBoer still had input. You know, maybe not in terms of play to play, but in important situations, whether run pass in some particular scenarios, at those previous stops with Ryan Grubb, fourth down, obviously, those type of scenarios. Kalen DeBoer is still very, very involved, and I don't think that's going to change. And, yeah, I think initially it could be that Kalen takes on more of that load, but I don't think he goes this route if, in fact, it is Sheridan who is elevated without feeling like there's a great deal of trust in Nick Sheridan because he's been around him at Indiana. He's been around him at Washington. He knows exactly what he's getting in this guy. So there should already be in that built-in trust that kind of frees up Nick Sheridan to do what he needs to do. I'm excited to see it. Kalen DeBoer continuing to make uh, a lot of noise in Tuscaloosa, and I'm sure they'll make noise here in that post-spring portal window, but it's for another time. Uh, Travis, appreciate you making time for us. Uh, We'll do it again here real soon. Hey, thanks, J.D. Crimson Tide fans, if you liked that video, go get yourself a membership over at Bama Online. Going to keep you in the know for all things Alabama. Also, subscribe right here to the On3 Roundtable YouTube channel.